The experiments you will see have been carefully done by professionals and should not be tried at home without parental guidance. Please follow the caution signs throughout this program. about our awesome God through exploration and science. Are you ready? Yes. I'm ready. I'm excited. And we have Professor Roy here. And we have Hannah, Hi, Nathan. Nathan. Uh, Yana yeah. and yeah. Amanda. And I'm Hi. excited. I thought, I'm a little bit confused here, but I thought we were doing something about rainbows. But I don't we are. know. Can you teach me something we here? We are. Well, you know, I think so. Have you ever seen a rainbow? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever seen a rainbow when it wasn't raining? Mm, yeah. No. No. Well, you know, you know that can happen sometimes, can it? But there's got to be something in the air. What has to be in the air? Color. Color. Colors in the air because rainbows give us a color. But we have to have what else? We've got to have water in the air for Droplets. Some I think so. Yeah. That's exactly right. Now let's see what we're going to do here. What I have is I have a little pencil. I'm going to put my pencil in the water, okay, like that, okay. Now if you can look at it from an, from an angle from maybe where you are, okay, and does it look like the pencil is broken? Yeah. yeah. Or maybe the pencil is bent in some way. Okay, but you know what? The pencil's not broken and the pencil's not bent. It's straight, isn't it? But when we put it in the water, what does the water do to the pencil? It refracts. It, it, <laughs> it, yeah, it refracts it. Okay, that's right. It bends the light. So the light is being bent by the water, and that's why we see a rainbow, because the rainbow, the water that's in the rainbow, is refracting. It's bending the light. Now, but, but why, how, do, how do colors come from light anyways? It comes from the bending of light that the water does. Now, I've got something right here. Now, this is a, this is a magnet. I can put it on my table. But what color is that? Red. It's red. Okay, now why do we call it red? Because it's it color. Did somebody train us? Did somebody train you the, and said, now that color is red, right? Did anybody teach you that? That's right, we were taught our colors, right? Just like we're taught our, our multiplication tables and the alphabet, we were taught our colors. Well, that is red, but you know, I don't know what color it really is. Do you know that? I don't know what color that really is. All I know is this, that when you and I, when we look at that, all I'm seeing is the wavelengths of red color coming back and hitting me in the eye. That's all I'm seeing, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I don't know what, exactly what colors will make just the red frequency bounce off of it and hit me in the eye, but I love color, and that's what happens to all of our colors. And that's what we're going to do outside. We're going to try to make a, uh, a rainbow, Yay. and maybe in a couple of different ways, and see the refraction and maybe even the reflection of light through water particles. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Are you ready out there? Let's go! Let's come follow me. Let's go! Have you ever looked at yourself? Yeah. 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 What do we usually use in order to look at ourselves? What do we uh, use? Mirror. Use a mirror, can't we? Okay. Or maybe a camera, right? You can take a picture yeah. of yourself or maybe do a, what do they call it? Selfie. A selfie. That's interesting, isn't it? Well, I have some very interesting mirrors. In fact, this mirror right here, if we look at this surface right here, it's very, very flat. Here, put your hands right. Can you feel how flat it is? It's very, very flat. But if you turn the mirror over, it has another mirror. Now feel the mirror. Is it concave? Yeah. yeah. It's concave. And this one right here is even more concave. In fact, it looks like a bowl. Look at that. It's all dished in. When you look at yourself with a mirror that happens to be flat, okay, and then if you look at yourself with a mirror that happens to be what? Concave. So here, so take this mirror, look at yourself, okay, and then turn it over and look at yourself and see how you would look if you used a concave mirror. What happens to your face? Did you see yourself? Did it get bigger? Bigger and smaller. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's right. So it changes your image. So a mirror then reflects your image, doesn't it? Yeah. It reflects our image. That's interesting. You know, as Christians, are we supposed to reflect something? Yes. 
What are we supposed to reflect? God's love. God's love. Hey, that's cool, isn't it? But you know what we can do? We can reflect the sunlight. Now, would that be cool to reflect the sunlight? Yes. Yeah. It really would. And so we've got another experiment here. Come on over here. Let's see what we got. Now, stand, stand right here. Stand right over here. Now, what I have is I've got, oh, man, what? Wow, did Whoa, you just see? Oh, bright. man. I've got, what's happening to, what's happening? Is it, are you what getting shine? Yeah. So There's... what's happening is we've re, we're reflecting the sunlight. Yeah. yeah. Ow. We're reflecting the sunlight with a mirror, okay? And the sun hits the mirror, and when the sun hits the mirror, it reflects, okay, the sunlight back. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to try to get the image to change colors. Would that be cool? Yeah. Okay, have you ever seen a rainbow? Yeah. Okay, can you, uh, what are all the colors of the rainbow? Are they, can you mention some of them? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Yeah, all of those colors, which is interesting. And all of them have the right way to go because they're always lined up in the same order. Now, that's interesting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down in the water, okay? And what's going to happen is the sunlight is going to reflect off of the mirror, and then the water is going to bend or, or, or uh, refract the light, and it's going to break up the white light into colors because you know what? Colors come from white light. Did you know that? Did you know where all the colors come from? No. They come from white light, and our sun happens to give us white light. So let's see what we can do right here. Now let's see. Can you? Why don't you stand okay. right there and turn? Okay, and turn around. Well, okay, you can stand right there. What we're going to try to do? Okay. Oh no no we, no! we want him no. right here. Oh, okay. Want him right in front of the mirror. Oh, want him right, right in front, front of the mirror. The mirror. What we got? And you might want to close your eyes a little bit because yep. it's going to get kind gonna of get interesting, right. okay? And what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get a rainbow to oh. show up what? on his clothes. Okay, there you go. Here, move that way just a little bit. Okay, well, right there. <laughs> so we've got some rainbow colors on his lab coat. Where are those colors coming from? The sun. sunlight and the water. They're coming from the sunlight. The sun has all of the colors in it. Here, why don't you change places? Everybody, we want everybody to have a turn. Let's see if we can get that light on there. So move so that it's right. Okay, move over a little bit, over this way. Okay, all right, there we go. All right, there we go. Let's check this out. That's wow. That's pretty. Whoa. Now, okay, who's, who else can we shine this on? Okay, all right, there we go. Let's see what we got. Wow. See all those colors? That's pretty cool, isn't it? You ready? Who hasn't I'll got try. the rainbow on their coat? I mean, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Coat? Whoop, Yay. okay, you moved out. You're going to have to move. Okay, there yeah, you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> now that's, that's awesome. Is, is that interesting? Like yes. Now, okay, just stay, just stay right there. Everybody had a turn? Yeah. Yep. You know, there was a man that lived a long time ago, Sir Isaac oh, Newton. Newton. <laughs> Sir Isaac Newton. And Sir Isaac Newton, he said that he thought that white light came from the sun. A lot of people, they didn't know, they didn't know where the different colors came from. He said it's coming from the sunlight, the white light. Yeah, so he did an experiment a long time ago. He, he put white light through a prism, and the prism turned all of that white light into the colors of the rainbow and people said "Ooh, wow look at that he was right all the colors do come from the sun and white light and then you know what he did he took all of those colors and he put them all through a prism again and what do you think came out the other side rainbow. white light came out the other side ah. how cool is that and so the rainbow was on him that's right. So he made a rainbow, didn't he? Cool. Now, if you've ever seen a rainbow, in fact, you know what? I think, uh, I think Annie Francine, yeah, I think oh, she oh, was yeah. going to try to make a rainbow That's by hard. using some water. So I'm here, try. let's check this out. Let's see what she's going to do. She's got a garden hose over there. Let's see what she's going to do with let's a garden hose. Let's see if hose. I can do it. Have you ever tried this? No. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh I, if you stand right where I am, you can see it. Come over next to me. I can see it. Can you see it? I yeah, don't know. there's a rainbow right here. The oh, angle has to be. Yeah. Whoa! It's, it's right green. there. You yeah. see it? Yeah. Yeah, it's right over the here. The angle has to be just right. It has to be just right. So come. See, it's over Let's there. Try. It's still over right here. Oops. Let's bring it closer. <laughs> oh. Wow. It takes some time to try to do that, right? That is kind of fun how we have time. 
time to do that. So when you're in the sprinkler system, have you ever tried to do that? Have you ever tried to make a rainbow? Yeah. Yes. What does that remind me of? God's promise. God's promises. I'm going to say, go ahead, turn off the water. You're right. God's promises is for everyone, and I love rainbows. Now, God, I'm so thankful that God didn't make this whole world just one color. I am so glad that we have eyes that many of us, most of us, can see different colors. What's your favorite color, Yana? Red. What's your, what's your favorite purple. color? What, purple? Oh, I like that. How about you? Aqua. Aqua. Ooh, now you're very specific. How about you, Amanda? Um, blue. Blue. How about you, Professor? Yellow. Yellow. We all have different colors, and sometimes my favorite color used to be pink when I was little, and now my favorite color is maybe burgundy, and sometimes I like hunter green. We all have different colors, but can you imagine if the world was just all green? Ooh, no. Like no. That. God Jesus, made our world in a beautiful way because he made different colors, and I'm so glad that we have different colors of rainbows and different things that we can see because God made things so beautiful. And even here, you know, it makes me think of another song that God said, red or yellow, black or white, right? We're all precious in whose sight? Jesus. His sight. Have any of you studied about how the um, clouds are formed up in the sky? Yeah. No. Yeah. They evaporate. How do water. they form? Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Well, I think there's droplets of rain in the air, right? They're making little prisms right up in the sky. So that's cool. what's happening. Whenever you see a rainbow, like sometimes I've seen two rainbows, and one time I even got to see three rainbows. Wow. It was like one here, one up this way, and one up this way. Awesome. And it was just, I, but you know what? Have you ever tried to take a picture of a rainbow? Yeah. 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 Does it work? No. No, even these cameras it gets it can't do the justice that we actually see. And that's the same way, even when I'm snorkeling or scuba diving, have any of you gone underwater and looked with your lenses underwater? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, sometimes we can't see. It doesn't look as pretty because of all the colors that God has created, right? We want to see those colors. And I'm so thankful that God has given us so many different colors. Me too. And so when you think about the rainbow, Hopefully you get to see rainbows. Has it been a while since you've seen a rainbow? Yes. It's been a so while. it reminds me of different things in the Bible. What's a Bible story that you can think of a, of a rainbow? Noah's Ark. Noah's Ark is a really good one. And what was that promise again? I know we talked about it. That before. God will never close the earth again. I am so thankful that God has given us so many promises and that he shows his love through a rainbow. I can't wait to see Jesus. How about you? Are you ready to go inside? Because I'm getting a little hot. Yeah. Oh, that was so wonderful. I love seeing rainbows. How about you? Me Were you excited? Yes. Yes. I have definitely been excited. Now, I don't know about that was you. Pretty. That, that was pretty. It was. I like remembering how God thinks that we're so beautiful in his image and mm -hmm. those droplets. Mm -hmm. I have something in my pocket. Oh, cool. I think I yeah. thought of something here. What you think of? I don't know. I'm thinking, what do you see? Do you see a rainbow? Yes. yes. It's on the disc. Yeah, pass it out. How many of you have ever seen a CD or DVD disc like that? Have you done that? Yes. Yes. I have too. I think it's kind of neat because we think about what? Again, what do, what do we think of? God's promise. God's promise. What was that promise again in the Bible? To never, never flood, flood the earth. earth. To never flood the earth. God's word is always true. And I'm so thankful. And I, I love seeing those rainbows and those colors. I mm -hmm. like how you were talking about these different colors that we see. And I'm so thankful that God made wonderful different colors for us. Aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So what's your favorite part of the rainbow? The colors. Reflecting the colors. <laughs> the variety of colors. I wouldn't want everything to be the same. No. We can see God's creation all around us because creation is science. Yay!